Well, yet again, it's howling a gale outside and the rain is lashing at the window. Hopefully it doesn't come across on the recording, but if it does, uh, I apologize. Today we're going into Unicorn Pack and uh, trying to do something a little bit unusual. And uh, I say unusual, it's kind of weird that I'm actually going to go for a traditional summon team in this pack, since uh, you don't see all that many of them. And what we're going to try and do is have um, multiple Chimeras. And Chimera is a unit that you really do not see multiples of for obvious reasons. Uh, most teams that use it are going to have um, Kitsune putting um, all the mana onto the Chimera at the back. And then hopefully it's going to spawn three huge units at the, at the end. But we don't want to do that. We want to mix things up and we're going to try and have three of them. Now, ideally, I wanted to have um, a level one at the front, a level two second, and then a level three in third position. Um, that turned out to be too much to ask because, uh, you know, you just need to find an awful lot of chocolates and uh, gingerbread. And it would be nice to be able to put different equipment on them as well, not just a gingerbread man on everything. So we're playing um, Bunyip in the early game, you know, gets us a lot of health, hopefully carries us few, uh, through a few rounds. And because we're going summons, we're obviously also going to go for Jersey Devil. And in order to do that, we need to just keep our tier one units and get them all to level three so we can sell them and power up the Jersey Devil. So that's why we've got a team of fully tier ones and twos on turn five, although I guess that's not atypical if you're playing, you know, Lucky Cat. Um, there are plenty of other very good uh, tier twos in this pack and very, very good tier ones as well, of course. And I was a little bit greedy by selling the Griffin uh, on the previous turn, but we also get the Rock here. And that's what I'm going to use to generate the mana for the three Chimeras. Now in the late game, you could obviously take uh, Sleep Near which is going to be able to generate, you know, the same amount of mana for each of the Chimeras. And uh, the randomness of rock is definitely one of the, the drawbacks for this setup. But again, you're relying on getting a specific late game pet and then also leveling and scaling it. So I felt like taking rock, getting it to 2.66 and then giving it gingerbread is probably the easiest way to go. Now, because rock is random, it does mean that you can end up in a situation where it doesn't give any mana at all to one of the Chimeras, but that's just a risk we're going to have to take. And here I'm thinking, yeah, I actually decided to pass up the Jersey Devil. And that was something that I think the more I played, the more obvious it became that I was going to have to do that. Because if you haven't already sold a bunch of level threes, the Jersey Devil is just an absolute passenger. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until we have multiple level threes sold already. And then we're going to try and hope to find another Jersey Devil at the end. So we're doing not too bad here. We've got the, uh, we find another rock, we find a gingerbread, and we do get the level three Bunyip. So you can see here, I'm starting to decide whether or not I'm going to sell the level threes. And we are going to sell the um, Axe Handle Hound first for the uh, Red Dragon, which we can immediately level two. Note the um, Ogopogo is not giving enough experience to the Bigfoot anymore anyway, so we might as well take the uh, double crisp. Although rather rudely, both units hang on with one HP at the back there. We're still going to win though, so that's good. And um, the treasure chest I think is about to break. So probably now is the time to sell the Bunyip, buy sell the Lucky Cat, which at level 3 is completely useless anyway. And then we roll into Ogopogo plus Chocolate, so we can go for that as well. And then now I think, do we only need one more cell to max things out? Um, I could just bring in the Chimera now, but I guess I also want to get these stats onto it from the Jersey Devil. So yeah, maybe I'm going to maneuver things here. We have the, um, yeah, Ogopogo could be immediately level twoing the Chimera, but I guess we're going to go for um, level up on the rock instead. Quetzalcoatl isn't going to help us since all the units we want are above um, tier uh, three. We are going to kill this frogman, although I don't know if it's going to be good enough here. We do have two strong mana snipes as well. Okay, we, we should be fine. Yeah, the tiger bug base stats is going to take the uh, six damage and faint. So now probably it's time to start bringing in the units that we actually care about. Um, we'll sell Ogopogo, or maybe I'm going to keep it for a little while. 
yeah, we're just going to sell it now. And maybe the Jersey Devil being maxed out isn't the most important thing. I can also buy sell this Griffin. Um, because then in a few turns time, we will have another level three. I think that's what I'm going to do. Sell Yeti, buy sell Griffin, yep. Because we know we want to have three separate commuters at the end. There's a pretty good chance that we can just combine them together and have the level one at the front as the last thing that we buy. Yeah, I, I was thinking about um, going for the Bigfoot there, but it's not necessary anymore. Once the uh, the treasure chest or the treasure map breaks, you can see I'm double checking there. Once it breaks, um, we uh, we don't need any more level threes. And luckily we actually win anyway here. So Bigfoot can now just go and I can get rid of the, yeah, get rid of the um, one in the team. So next Chimera in and we'll start working on getting the other one to level two. And I should just buy that rock. I'm not sure why I didn't buy it. Maybe it's because um, I was worried about winning too quickly. I'm not sure. They're probably just a mistake. And there you can see what happens with the randomness of the rock. The front Chimera only gets two uh, mana. So I guess sometimes it actually does work out in your favor where the higher level Chimera further back is going to end up with um, more mana than the ones at the front. Although at the moment we only have level ones, so it doesn't actually make any difference at this point. We do kind of want to tie as well, maybe once or twice. We can bring in Teen Spirit to try and get some uh, higher base stats by having a couple of in-shop levels. And uh, I think, yeah, we don't have any... Since I take that Jersey Devil level up, we don't actually have any in-battle level ups now, unfortunately. But any stats are welcome. Now, I think, yeah, one of the main problems you face when you're trying to do unusual stuff in Unicorn Pack at the moment is there are a lot of um, Kraken plus uh, Warg teams. But uh, Warg snipes... Um, on gains mana, which goes off after all the start of battle stuff. So even if your whole squad does get wiped, the Chimeras are still guaranteed to get the, the mana. Um, the problem is usually without the Jersey Devil buffs, they're not going to be big enough to do anything. So here's an example, opposing uh, Warg. Um, everything loses its health because of the level 3 Kraken. Everything gets deleted and then we get all the spawns but clearly they're gonna never really gonna have a chance, especially since the warg also gets the uh, the mana snipe on top. Really hope that stuff gets fixed soon because um, it kind of puts a dampener on going for any of these unusual builds. So we find the third Chimera, and now we just need, well, exactly what we rolled here. Another Chimera so we can get a level two in the middle. And then here I actually take the Yggdrasil fruit. Not sure that's the greatest decision. I should just take another um, gingerbread there because if we do get the middle uh, the second Chimera to level 2 then the Yggdrasil fruit won't have space to spawn anything and uh, really you're better taking um, the uh, easter egg because Monty with um, the buffs from Jersey Devil doing double damage means you can remove you know a huge unit in, in one attack so we do end up getting the level 3 Jersey Devil here and another mana potion but the, the dream of the 1, 2, 3 level Chimera at the front is uh, definitely not going to happen. Opposing level 3 Sea Serpent. So the two units at the back actually take huge damage from Crisp, which means they all survive because they have weaker health than the Chimeras at the front. And we end up losing all the Chimera spawns and getting the Yggdrasil goats instead. Uh, everything gets crisped again because of the Phoenix. And the buffs on the goats are actually going to save us. So kind of crazy to end up in that situation where the last survivor on the team is the white goat from the Yggdrasil fruit. But uh, yeah, I'll take it. That was uh, very fortunate, I think. So here's uh, one of the fails. Um, but uh, the weird thing about this round is that it looks incredibly unlikely for us to even get close to the opposing team. All of the mana gets concentrated onto the um, Chimera at the front, so we miss out on a lot of stats on the middle, uh, the second Chimera. But this time, the um, third Chimera does actually have the egg. So Monty is going to do double damage. Yeah, really, If I think if I had another Easter egg there, that could have been a tie. So let me know in the comments, what atypical teams have you been playing in Unicorn Pack lately?